told. Celestial books lost forever. But the greatest story of them all is still to be told. We must go back through time to the very first chapter to tell the story of how the universe began. scattered remains of a dead star, a nebula, the Crab Nebula. We're 6,000 light years from home, deep inside a stellar graveyard. We've learned so much, seen things we'd never have believed possible. Now sights like this, wonders once beyond imagination, we take in our stride. We're ready, ready to face whatever lies ahead, determined to reach the edge of the universe. It looks dead, but maybe this is just the calm after the storm, after a massive explosion, powerful enough to turn a huge star into a cloud of dust and gas, a supernova. the storm, a spinning, pulsating star, a pulsar. Gravity must have squeezed the giant star's core down to this. It's just 20 kilometers across, unimaginably dense. One pinhead of this would weigh hundreds, maybe millions of tons. As it shrank, like a figure skater spinning on the spot, arms outstretched, then pulling them in, it began to spin faster. Two beams of light, energy, radiation, spinning 30 times a second, powering the huge cloud of dust and gas. There's so much radiation here, more even than on the sun. That was easily the deadliest thing we've encountered so far. Once, it would have terrified us. But now we realize that without the dangers, there'd be no wonders. Without the nightmares, there'd be no dreams. Getting a strange sensation, a feeling as though there's something bad out here, a malevolent presence, the one thing we didn't want to encounter, impossibly black, blotting out the stars behind it. We are staring into the face of extinction, the remains of a giant star a black hole. Instead of contracting to a white dwarf or a pulsar, it just kept on going, shrinking until it got so small it's just a few kilometers across. Far denser than a pulsar and impossible to resist. Stray too close, and there's no turning back. Now we know why it's a black hole. Its gravity is so intense, not even light can escape. This asteroid, it's a lump of solid rock, but it's actually stretching, being dragged towards the gaping hole. Inside, there's no matter as we know it. 
no time, no space. All the rules of physics collapse. The asteroid is gone. Truth is, nobody really knows where. We're looking at the limit of human understanding. There could be millions of black holes creeping around our galaxy. More perhaps than all the stars in the sky. But we wouldn't see them until it was too late. Like this star, spiraling, disappearing down an invisible plug hole. Who's to say we don't live inside a vast black hole? That the whole universe isn't inside one right now, inside another universe. Think about it for too long and your mind reels. Sometimes it feels like the more we see, the less we know. But we do know our galaxy is more complex and more dangerous than we ever imagined. And we're still in our own galaxy the Milky Way. The vastness of the universe beyond still lies ahead. The wonders, the dangers, the secrets, they're out there. But first, we've got to find a way out of the Milky Way. Seven thousands light years from home, still deep inside our own galaxy. It's as though we're in a forest thick with trees, each so beautiful, so fascinating. It's impossible to look beyond, to see the bigger picture. We have to find a way through, reach the clearing at the galaxy's edge. Only then can we begin to understand where it and we all began. But faced with sights like this, it's hard to leave. A colossal glowing cloud topped by these great towers of dust. The pillars of creation. Like a gateway into the far galaxy. Both pillars studded with tiny protrusions. Embryonic star systems. Each one the size of our solar system. Another monument to nature's astonishing creativity. We have to ignore its captivating beauty, its siren song, tear ourselves away in order to carry onwards towards the edge of the galaxy. Dazzled by the Milky Way's beauty, we've been blinded to its terrors and strayed into a cosmic minefield. Like an explosion in slow motion, giant clouds of gas are bursting out of this star. A massive star, millions of times brighter than our sun. It's going into meltdown. The fuel that sustains it is running out. The nuclear reactions that power it, winding down. We're watching its death throes. Eventually, the core will implode. The result? A new black hole. An even bigger, dangerously unstable star. But this one's about to explode. And when a star this big dies, it's a hundred times more violent than a supernova. Somehow we've stumbled into the most violent star death imaginable. A hypernova. 